Alrighty guys, so I just started uh, playing around with this resistor again uh, in DC mode this time. Originally I had it on the AC tap point going into the diodes. And I'm like, well, hmm, how about negative resistance? What's that going to do for us? How does that alter the circuit? And I should rephrase that as negative DC resistance. It's through the diode on the negative side across the resistor. It does affect the load. These are all things that maybe should be taken into consideration. So we have 320, 330 watts in there. Bulbs are fairly dull. Resistance is quite high. I can turn it up from this point. Higher the bulbs will get brighter. Not much, up to the max. And we have a 365 watt input. Is pretty much the peak there. With the negative DC resistance. Alright, so we'll turn that off. I'll go at moving these. I don't know if these diodes are burning hot. They probably get burning hot, burning quick. I didn't try positive resistance. I just did AC resistance to negative DC resistance. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably maybe try positive resistance as well. I don't know what will happen considering the bulbs are positive resistance. It'll probably just heat the resistor. All right, AC resistance. You can see the bulbs are brighter. Actually, only two of them are lit, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I just kind of noticed that. I don't think I bumped anything. But maybe I did. It, it's quite possible. I'll have to investigate that. So, but now we can turn this up maybe a little more to get brighter, right? Less resistance here. So there's 444 watts. And they're, they're you know, good and bright, DC. So uh, we can turn it all the way down too, right? Or to whatever value we want for output. So that's a real good way to control the DC voltage output under load. So whatever you're going to load, and then you could probably just adjust this for whatever kind of voltage you really wanted to achieve. And uh, the capacitance, well, um, I, I, it's not, I, I don't know if uh, this meter is accurate or not. I have no idea. It tells me there's 48 uh, uh, nanofarads. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't got to playing with that yet. There's 237 watts, fully controllable. And this is hot energy over unity. There's no cold electricity in this system. You're amplifying the hot energy that comes in, hence the color and the brightness of, of the bulbs. That's a clear indication of hot energy amplification. Okay, There's no back EMF in this system. This is resonance that's being self-induced, causing it to have more energy in its exit wires than it has in its entrance wires, therefore over unity, therefore the ability to do extra work. And uh, here's just a tidy method to control the output voltage or restrict it or bring it into a superconductive state if that's what you desire. It can be used for many purposes. should probably be there. I guess we'll put it on the positive side here and just, uh, if I can get it there, and conclude this video on that note. Those damn bulbs are so hot. So we'll take a better look here before I turn it on. If um, the... Now this is right across the load, right after the diodes, right? This is both hot diodes too. There's no negative here. This is all hot. This is not conventional electrical wiring, okay? Like that stuff just doesn't kind of work right. You know what I mean? It's broken to start with. All right, so uh, it could be that those that uh, diode wasn't touching that other connection there. I think it is now. So we'll see. Uh, hot resistance, positive resistance. Right away we noticed 93 watts. Bulbs are not lit at all. We can turn it up though with positive resistance. That meter's that meter's going crazy, so maybe it's who knows what it's doing. 364, 5, 7, 8, 370. 370 watts across the four bulbs with positive resistance. Okay, so there's lots of ways this can be hooked up. So to come at me thinking you know it all because the establishment taught you so, you're a fucking fool. 
and I'm just going to mop your face <laughs> in, in, in my work because it, it, it's fabulous, and I know it is, and I'm not boasting. I'm simply sharing it because this world is so fucking lost. <laughs> it's so lost. All right, guys. Uh, positive resistance, negative resistance, and AC resistance all control the output intensity, voltage, and brightness of the bulbs. And uh, at certain settings with the capacitor, I'm sure you can match that for whatever desired result you wish to achieve. All right, again, 400 watts. Uh, there's two kilowatts, pretty dull. But uh, as I said, this is hot energy amplification. There's no cold energy in the system. Ciao.